she comes across like diamonds, diamonds Easy in love when the lights are low She comes into focus, focus The closer she gets, the more I know She takes more whiskey than my wine, I wine There is no better way to go than to be wearing your favorite shirt or one of your favorite shirts. This one is from the, I don't know if you can read that, but it's from the Portland Saturday Market. And I've had this shirt something like 18 years now. It's a long time since I've been to the Portland Saturday Market. Uh, yeah, we're talking several, several years ago. Uh, what year was that? Was it around 2012 or something like that? Uh, no, uh, 2002 maybe, 2003, somewhere around there. Anyway, there's no better way to go than to have your favorite shirt and your favorite whiskey. Or one of your favorite whiskeys. Now, my favorite whiskey of... 2018 was the Lagavulin 12 2015 version which I can still get in certain stores near me. This one I picked up at the distillery at Lagavulin on Isla in Scotland. This is the 2017 edition. I could have got the uh, 2018 edition, but that was about 20, that was more expensive. Just, but just, I thought I'd just break in here in post-production to let you know how much I paid for this puppy. Okay. Over here it says, SR17 Lagavulin 12-year-old, quantity one. Total pounds, 90. VA something discount, $5, because maybe because I took the tour or whatever, 85 pounds. 85 pounds. I, what is that in Canadian? That's about 170, 160, 170, somewhere in there. It's about, it was about two to one approximately at the time. I was just using, using two to one as a gauge for how much things cost. Worth every penny. Suffice it to say that this one here, the, the box got kind of beat up in my luggage. And if I was to lift, if I try to lift the box, the bottle comes up from underneath. Fortunately, the bottle has been unscathed, but the box has been beat up. And this is a box that's it's got like a outer cardboard, and it's got an inner corrugated cardboard, and the bottom came out because this thing had been bashed around in my luggage all the way from the distillery to here, to my apartment. In, in my luggage. So this box is the, the most, and it's got dust on it too because it's been sitting under my bar for a while. This is the most beat up box I've ever had. It, it earned every, everything, every part, of, every part of being beat up. That's okay, that's gonna go on the wall too. Uh, it's, uh, it's something special. Oh, there's even stuff to read on the back. I'm going to read that too. But first, before I read that, I'm going to pour me a dram because this is, I think this is going to be fantastic. If it's anything like the 2015, and the 2015 was my whiskey of the year of 2018. Yeah. My whiskey of the year 2019, I have a little bit left. It was the, uh, the 20... Two thousand and nine 
MC01 uh, from Port Charlotte, Brook Laddie. This, if this is anything near what the 2015 edition was like, it's going to be amazing. But look, it has the, the UK stamp on it right there. And the other bottles of Lagavulin 12 that I have do not have that Lagavulin, that UK stamp because I bought it here in Canada. I have two other bottles. I have a, a 2014 and a 2016. And if I want, I can get another 2015 anytime I like. As long as their supplies last. I don't believe the 2018 or 2019 has come to Canada, but we'll see with time. Even the pop was perfect. Composite cork. Ah. Okay. Limited edition 2017. Isla Single Malt, Scotch Whiskey, Natural Cast Strength, 56.5% 56 alcohol by volume. The Strange Horse of, what? What is this? It says here, The Strange Horse of Son of I by William Black. I have been in Isla more as three times or two times myself, and I have been close to the Lagavulin distillery, and I know that it is the clear water of the spring that will make the Lagavulin whiskey just as fine as new milk. <laughs> uh, I love these old quotes. <laughs> you know, what does it say on here? On a box. Uh, okay. This this was beat up like crazy. Port Island. Lagavulin Distillery. Port Ellen. Isle of Isla. Age 12 years. Scotch whiskey. Oh my goodness. 700 mils. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to need some help with this Let's go on. Okay. Uh, this pale gold cast strength Lagavulin is a green glint, has a green glint in its eye, as if to suggest the intensity to come. On the nose, there's a fresh, breezy start, suggestive of a beach explorer's rock pool with its seaweed and shellfish. The peat smoke opens softly with herbal aromatic notes of lemon, thyme, and lilac add water and those seaside aromas devolve to evolve to evoke seafood, razor clams maybe, or sweet crab meat. The palate is oily and enthralling, first with bags of peat smoke and a wonderful maritime saltiness. Then a sweeter note of roasted lemons and candied pineapple with water, a smooth balance of lemony sweetness, maritime saltiness, Peppery spiciness, oaky dryness, and herbal peat smoke ensues. The long, bitter, sweet finish is laced with more charred lemons and cocoa and is still powerfully smoky. No cars and no pregnancy. Drink IQ.com. And I forgot everything that I read there, but it to me it's poetry. That's poetry. <sighs> Let's do it justice. Let's give it a try here. I have had two whiskeys, three whiskeys. This is my fourth. The first was at 40%. The second was at 46. The third was at 53 point something. And this baby here is at 56.5% alcohol by volume, 700 mils, UK stamp. Oh, that's peat smoke. 
that is that is the that is that that is it. Lots of peat. It's balanced by the sherry finish. Oh, this is going to hit the spot. This is really going to hit the spot. Now I get the peat right away. It's not like the last one I had. The last one was a long row Pinot Noir where the sherry just covered over the smoke and I didn't get any smoke at all. I still have a dry finish in my mouth from that one and that was about half an hour ago. Cleanse the old palate. Give it another shot, shall we? Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. This is heaven in a glass. This is just beautiful. Oh. Peat smoke and fruit. It's just so beautifully put together that everything, every element makes a part of the cohesive whole. And I hope I don't sound like too much of a drunk right now, but this is beautiful. Get the peat smoke, get some medium to dark fruits. The fruits are indistinct. They are so well married with the peat smoke that, oh, that this is like heaven in a glass. I can't break, I can't pull it apart. Wait, okay. Cherries. Lemons. See the bells of St. Clemens. Tar. Peat. Tobacco. Am I getting any chocolate? No, no chocolate. Maybe that will manifest, maybe that will come across or manifest itself after I've had a sip. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Coffee, mocha, mocha chocolate, chocolate in the coffee. Oh goodness, this is beautiful. It does not remind me one bit of the 2015 edition. But it's been a couple of years since I've had the 2015 edition. I might have to get another bottle to do a comparison. But this is delicious. Cleanse my palate. Oh, I was not prepared for the palate going by the nose I got. indistinct fruits. It's like trying to see clear through a fog. And now, curiously enough, I get some of that 
coffee mocha note on the nose, which I did not get on the nose before, but then now that I've tasted it, there it was. And here it is. Uh, coffee and chocolate. And the peat, the lag of wool and peat smoke is just right. It's not overpowering. It's 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 perfectly balanced. This is perfectly balanced. Oh man. Mm. And the finish exquisite coffee mocha chocolate oh beautiful this is nothing like what i remember the uh 2015 edition to be like but don't forget that i've had a long row pinot noir cask finish long row red that was 11 years old and that may be influencing me a little bit. Had I had like a pack of oat cakes between the two, that would have maybe helped because I might still be tasting some of that finish that I got on the long row red, which I thought needed opening up. But then when I was just finishing, I was just taking my last pull from the glass and i that's when it hit me. That's when the, the, the powerful finish hit me. And I might still be getting some of that here. Oh, do we really need to check what's going on with the legs? They are thick thighs, thick legs. And slowly the drops slide down, slowly, slowly. <sighs> this is some whiskey. Oh. I can't get over that mocha coffee note. That's mostly what I'm getting, mocha coffee. And I thought I would get more sherry involved here, but no. This is special. This is just delightful and special. I could go on all night about this. Cleanse once again that palate. Oh my goodness. I'm having several mouthgasms with this one. I'm having a nosegasm right now, just, just sniffing it. Oh. very very nice I believe I tasted this when I was at the distillery and as soon as I tasted I had to get one but I'm not getting the same flavors now as I got then maybe because the atmosphere is different the humidity is different the time of year is a little different we're still in winter here and when I was in Isla, when I was on Isla, and when I bought this, we were clearly in springtime. It was the 1st of April. No, it was the 31st of March. And that's, you know, about seven weeks in the future from here. It will be interesting to taste this again. 
on the day that I had bought it, but this year. So on the 31st of March, I'll come back to this maybe. It, it's not missing anything, it's just... It's superb. And there's a lot of great stuff going on. Coffee beans again. Let me add just a little bit of water and see what that does to it. Water doesn't usually help peated whiskey. It usually makes it more ashen and, uh, yeah, ashen and dry. And But there is a lot going on on my tongue right now in terms of the aftertaste in terms of the finish of this guy. It's a beautiful lump finish. It's still there. It's still there. It's a coffee and sherry and... Oh. Okay. Port Allen. Drink responsibly. Drink IQ UK. Wow. Liga Ruin 12 has got to be one of my favorite whiskeys of all time. But what's funny about it is that every year it's a little different. Every time they make this stuff. Every edition, every year is different. So far, this is the second one I've opened. And the 2015 blew me away. This 2017 is wonderful as well. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing on the nose. With a little bit of water, it's still a beautiful thing. Oh. I can't get enough of this. So many flavors. Coffee, cocoa. And a bunch of things that I probably don't describe. I read what it said on the box. It's giving me all of those things. Wow. This is just a beautiful experience. And it's so hard to pick apart because all of the elements come together and make a cohesive whole. Wow. You know, there's some whiskeys you can say uh, ginger, you can say chocolate, you can say caramel, you can say toffee, you can say vanilla, you can say all of these things. You can say peat smoke, you can say road tar, you can say X number of things. But this just puts it all together in one clump. And there it is. It's all there. Try and pick it apart. Uh, it's beyond me. Just as it is, it is wonderful. I will come back to this. But it's so good that I won't really need to do it on camera. Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>